If you're unhappy with your party's presumptive nominee, it turns out there are plenty of third-party candidates also in the running. My name is Arthur Harris, and I'm running for President of the United States. I am an independent candidate for President of the United States of America. With a little help from you, I can become our nation's next president. The last president who was neither Republican nor Democrat was Millard Fillmore. He was a Whig. But who are these other candidates, and do they even stand a chance? Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck capitalism. Solidarity forever. Boom. If current political discourse doesn't seem sober enough for you, Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> bum, bum. Jim Hedges and Bill Bays are running on behalf of the Prohibition Party. I am an Iowa farm boy, a public high school graduate. I am a professional tuba player. Hedges runs a monthly newsletter called The National Prohibitionist, and he thinks the country should be totally dry. There is an alcohol connection with virtually every problem American faces. Bob Whitaker is running on behalf of the American Freedom Party. If you go to his website, you'll quickly learn his stance on diversity. Not a fan. When Tennessee attorney Daryl Castle isn't busy campaigning, he's posting helpful legal advice on YouTube. If your car is threatened with repossession, if you're behind on your car payment and you just can't make it, what are some things you could do? Hi, I'm Daryl Castle. Dr. Terry Jones, a pastor from Florida, is known for two things, holding multiple Koran burnings and working in a mall food court. How's business been? Actually been good. And there's a, a terrorist organization put a reward on my life of 6.5 million. Dr. Jill Stein has gained support from Green Party voters. I'm voting for Jill Stein! Lynn Kahn has a seven-track plan to fix the government. A seven-track strategy. Track seven. Oh. Seven tracks. Wait, how many? A seven-track plan. And Wiley Drake is a Southern Baptist who knows a thing or two about the Independent Party. I've gotten a, a lot of independent party people, because I are one. So are these candidates even eligible? Well, thousands of people have registered with the FEC, including, and these are real, Jesus Christ, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Hugh Janus, that ass, and Mr. Mm, that ass, several members of the Nuts family, and John Cena, who apparently lives at 6969 John Cena Street, and whose committee works from 420 Blazet Boulevard in Weed, California. But if third-party candidates actually want to be taken seriously, they have to petition to get their name on the ballot in individual states. In some states, that only takes 1,000 signatures. In California, that takes over 178,000. So do these candidates actually stand a chance of becoming our next president? Probably not. But to be fair, stranger things have happened. Donald Trump is the presumptive nominee. This is your mic check.